Hello Scorpio, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a mini reading focused on a reality check for your connection. So just real talk and ultimately what it is that they need you to know right now. General, as always guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person. Please do take from it what makes sense for you. Release the rest. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box. And I'll include a link to the decks that you see here today, Scorpio. Cross watchers, always welcome. So let's begin. These are the three decks that we're going to be starting things off with for this mini reading. My Heart, Soul, Heart and Soul Love Oracle deck and then my Silhouettes deck will grab a third message from the Moonology deck here. All right, so let's begin and let's take a look and see what it is that you need to know right now in your connection, what it is that your person, whoever it is that you're thinking about for this reading, what is it that they need you to know right now? There could also be certain things that you're thinking about that you really need your person to know as well. So take it for, of course, how it makes sense. We've got road trip. Maybe you guys love to travel, go on road trips together. This message says, I will walk through life with you any day, any time, always and forever. Just hold my hand and don't ever let me go. Let's travel this journey together. As long as you're with me, the road ahead will be an amazing adventure. And that's the key here. As long as you guys are willing to travel this road of life together, you guys can tackle whatever obstacles get in your way together. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab another message from my silhouettes deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio for this mini reading. I'm guided to this one. We do have caged, okay? And it does say you're not imprisoned or trapped unless you allow yourself to be open the door and walk out. You know, what I kind of get from this with these two cards next to each other, maybe you guys are just really busy with life and obligations and things that keep you both really busy. Okay, so I'm feeling career opportunities, your job, your day-to-day -day responsibilities, and maybe you do feel kind of caged at work or even in your homes. We still have a pandemic going on here and a lot of people are still staying at home. So maybe it's been a while since you guys have been on vacation, on a road trip, and even just going outside the door to take in some of the energies of the sun. All right, so if you feel the need to go out and just hang out with your person, maybe that's what it is that you have been missing. All right, Scorpio, so let's go ahead and add the energy of the moon here. For Scorpio, please, angels and spirit guides. So just a quick reality check for your connection. Let's grab this one, if I can actually pick it up. Full moon in Cancer. For some of you guys, maybe your person could be a Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. So this, to me, is an issue that has been of concern for either yourself, Scorpio, your person, or the relationship. And this is something that's resolved. You guys are able to work it out. So that's really good. So let's continue and see what else. So this particular deck is perfect for this reading. It's called the Twin Flame Reality Check deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So let's take a look and see what else for the collective needs to come through in this mini reading. What's a part of your reality right, right now? What is it that you need to be aware of? Angels and spirit guides, please, for the collective, for Scorpio. Look at this fun game night. I, I kind of feel that that's what it is that you're focused on, just wanting to really have a lot of fun, hanging out, spending time together. You've been caged inside your homes perhaps a little bit too long now and wanting to just get out there and go on vacation, take a trip, have dinner outside in a restaurant or you're missing game nights with your friends with your family and it's interesting how this is the next card is family maybe you've been missing hanging out with your family or people that feel like family to you and your person let's see what else is a part of your reality here so take whatever part of these messages makes sense as always we've got a bunch coming through we've got coming soon 
So if you've been missing your friends, your family, maybe you will have the opportunity that will come in sooner rather than later. Look at this. We've got live, laugh, love, comedy show. Somebody might really love just the genre of comedy or you just love to make each other laugh. We do have a yes coming through here, which I love. So again, if you're feeling caged in, if you're feeling kind of trapped and stagnant and haven't had a chance to hang out and just enjoy life, it does seem that the opportunity will present itself. So that's really cool. Hoping to score high game night bowling. So that could also be something of interest for the two of you, something that you guys just really enjoy doing and hanging out. So a lot of cool messages presenting itself here as far as being able to take the opportunity to be together again, to see each other again, and to just have some sense of normalcy in life. Hopefully this pandemic will be a thing of the past soon. You know, that's truly what I'm hoping for. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and add some additional insight, especially for those of you who actually are not together and you're missing those road trips or you're just missing your person here. So this is a deck called I Just Got Spooked, Why I Ghosted by Angelic Revelation 144. So we've had a lot of lighthearted messages that have come through here, but this is a reality check for the collective. Let's take a look and see for those of you who are either not together or going through some challenges in your partnership, what it is that you need to be made aware of right now. All right. And if they're staying away, if they're not coming to see you or talk to you or visit, what's up with that? Let's see. They're coming through as a wild animal. Okay, so somebody who's a little bit on the wild side, maybe they're just feeling, you know, they don't want to be caged. They want to be out there kind of doing their own thing. You might also be dealing with somebody who goes a little bit too crazy when there is a party, when there's a gathering. Okay, so... They need to tame themselves a little bit when it comes to that. This could also be part of the challenge for some of you that they're talking to other people, which is why they're not coming around to visit you at your home or you guys aren't spending time together or going out at this point. They're feeling insecure, and maybe you are as well, especially if you haven't heard from them in a while. You know, they maybe you are feeling like they ghosted you, and you're missing all the fun that you guys have had together before. And you want that again. And it could be the other way around, where they're missing you, and they're, they're wanting to spend time with you ghosting truth avoidance so we already have that image of the whole playful ghost right there feeling insecure now if you're on the receiving end of this scorpio where you have been ghosted by somebody they are coming through as someone who's avoiding the truth of what's really going on in their heart space you know part of the reason might be because of this their head is all over the place they might be confused they don't know what they want they don't know what to do so they're gonna have to figure that out for themselves and if their head is all over the place if their heart is all over the place maybe they just don't quite know how to feel about the connection especially if they're talking to other people as well okay so let's grab some tarot messages here i'll go ahead and grab from my tarot teacher here angels and spirit guides please for scorpio what else do we need to know for this reality check? The masculines are actually coming through as the emperor. For some of you, maybe your masculine could be an Aries. This is typically somebody who likes to stay in control of a situation. Some of you guys could have already had children together. We do have the reference to family there. The emperor can represent fatherhood and structure and an established relationship with someone. Okay, so maybe you and your masculine just haven't had a whole lot of time to be able to dedicate to fun and just being able to spend time together outside of the home. Okay, but I feel we've got this yes answer right here. There's a possibility that you guys will eventually find your time to be able to do that. Okay, so let's add to this. Let's see what else. 
We do have the two of cups here. So this is unity. This is love, partnership, compatibility, a soulmate bond, a soul bond with somebody that you are thinking about for this connection. So if you guys are not talking, if they've ghosted you, eventually I feel they will find their way back to you. And then we've got the three of cups right after that. This is a reunion here. So they'll be back even though they've ghosted you. It does seem that you guys will have a new beginning here, especially for my feminines thinking of a particular masculine because you've now got the king of cups coming in. This is someone who is very loving and caring. They're now finally emotionally balanced. They're not so wild and untamed. So maybe they just need a little bit more time to figure this out in their own heart, especially if they're talking to other people and they, they need to figure out that ultimately you are the right choice. Okay, and then we've got the Knight of Cups here, someone who's romantic, very charming. They want to be able to build this relationship and for love to blossom between the two of you. So they, they, I feel, need time to be able to just follow what is in their heart and do what feels right for them. And then we've got the Ace of Swords, which is clarity, which is giving them the opportunity to think clearly you know, they can't be avoiding the truth of what's really in their heart. And this clarity is going to get rid of this energy where they're all over the place because this is someone who is now able to think clearly and make better choices and ultimately cutting people out that they're no longer interested in. So whoever it is that they're talking to right now, eventually I feel they're going to come to realize that it is you that they want and want to spend their time with. Okay. So let's wrap it up here, guys, with some final messages. Let me see what deck I want to go ahead and use. Let's go ahead and grab some final messages from my heart space oracle, what it is that they want to say to you or what you want to say to them. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio. For this Real Talk mini reading, a quick reality check for your connection. I'm yours. Okay, so this is your person telling you it's like, I want to be yours. They are choosing you. Let's grab a couple more cards for Scorpio. I just want you to take me in your arms and hold me for an eternity. Okay, wanting those intimate moments and to just be in each other's arms once again. And lastly, if it's meant to be again, life will find a way. Absolutely. And based off of what's presenting itself here, I feel that you guys will find your way back to each other. All right, Scorpio. So it looks pretty positive as far as the reality check of your relationship right now. All right, guys. So that's where I'm going to leave it. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so much. See you next time.